Thursday evening, we're going to meet at the Council of Order Monday, May 13th, 2024, 6 o'clock p.m. Can we get a roll call, please? Melissa Nusha. Kevin. Henry Foreman. Here. Jason Sampson. Here. Steve Skag. Here. Sandy here. Here. First item is approval of the agenda. Move to approve. Second. Steve, any discussion? None. Council, please vote. That is approved, which takes us to public hearings. Um, public hearing A is FY24 budget amendment number two. We'll open the public hearing. hearing. Aaron, did we receive any comment concerning your speaking public hearing about the budget amendment? Seeing none, we'll close public hearing. Move to resolution number 83, 2023-2024. Resolution approving fiscal year 2023-2024 budget amendment number two. I'll move to approve. Second. Steve and Sandy, any discussion? Seeing none, council, please vote. That moves us to the inside agenda. Move to approve. Second. Sandy and Melissa. In your discussion, council, please vote. Group that takes us into the public forum. Which is time to decide for comments from the public on topics of city business other than those listed on the agenda and that action may be taken. We will start with the Story County Community Foundation update. Thank you, Mayor and Council members. I appreciate the time. I was on the AIM City Council 20 years ago, so I appreciate the work you do, and I'll be respectful of your time too. How many of you know about the Story County Community Foundation? Okay, yeah, a few. Well, I'm here just to kind of give you an update on it and uh, tell you a little bit about it and hope that you will take advantage of us in a good way. Can I say that? So we do two things at the Story County Community Foundation. We give out money in the form of grants, and that usually happens in November. And those are competitive grants. Uh, with the grants that we've given out so far uh, with Nevada here has been... Uh, Back in uh, 2020, we came out to the Story County uh, Fair Association, Legal Aid Society. Back in uh, 2021, uh, the nice project you've got going on here, which is the Nevada Fieldhouse Project. Uh, year after that, the Camelot Theater, the windows upstairs are uh, $25,000 uh, grant from us. The Nevada Public Library, uh, that was a story walk on the trail, the bike trail that's down by the community building. And then uh, last year we gave out uh, kids with first and breakfast supplement. So that money comes from the state, but it also comes from uh, endowments that um, uh, people have gifted to us. So last year, last few years, we've given out about $152,000 each year uh, to about 19 different projects. So a substantial amount of uh, money in this school school organizations, charitable organizations, and city and government entities. So those are open for you. I see there's a, a grant writer on your board, so I would think that you'd have some grants coming our way here one of these days. Uh, the other thing we do is we work with charitable funds. Um, we have four endowments here that I can name uh, right here in uh, Nevada. <laughs> The Community Historical Society has got an endowment with us. The Public Library has an endowment with us. The Nevada High School Class of 96 or 1966 started a, a legacy scholarship fund. They give out scholarships. And then the Nevada Fieldhouse, which is really, we're just kind of a holding thing for pledges coming out of the way. So charitable funds, uh, again, these are for 501c3 organizations gives everybody the ability to donate and support things. And these are endowments. So a little bit of the money is used each year, the rest is reinvested and it is invested professionally uh, so that it grows. And then next year you can take out even more if the markets are right. So those are the two things we do, grants 
and um, charitable funds. If you're an individual, uh, you might think about a donor advised fund. Donor advised funds are a nice way you can give to charities and get some nice tax benefits from there. I had a nice surprise on the way in. I was talking with uh, Councilwoman Eric and find out that she is right there at the start of things with the uh, Iowa Economic Development Authority back in 2005 when these community foundations got underway, got funded. So thank you for the work that you've done. Keeping it brief, I'm gonna call it good and I'm gonna ask if anybody has any questions. I'll say thank you for the work that you do and for partnering on the Fieldhouse Project. Okay, so I just hope I can get a little interest from you and then we uh, might hear from you for some uh, funds or some uh, grant requests. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, continuing on in the public forum, is there anyone else here to speak in the public forum? Wait. <clears throat> Good evening, Council. Thank you for giving me a few minutes just to uh, address you regarding the Innovative Communities Band that is going to be starting up here very soon. Uh, this is our 25th season, and I am counting the pandemic here because uh, just count. <laughs> <laughs> we are starting our community band season with a rehearsal on June 4th and our first concert on Tuesday. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> our first concert is on June 4th, their rehearsal is the Monday evening before that. And I do want to just publicly thank the City of Nevada and the City Council for the support that we continue to get from this great uh, City Council in terms of the use of the facility for storage, the great space out in front here, the uh, use of some of the chairs that we are allowed to store throughout the summer. It, it is a fantastic resource to be able to just have those items right handy, store them without other things we were doing at the beginning of our time, such as running up folding chairs and looping them all over the city and doing things like that. Uh, I, I thank you for that. And I also wanted to uh, let the city council know that on Wednesday, uh, we will be hanging our community banner. We wanted to hold off until the uh, big event was finished this weekend with Pizza Pialooza. And uh, we will be hanging our banner through the season. And then we'll remove it at the end of our season, which will be a community jazz band concert on the second Tuesday of July. And I guess I will open up any questions that the city council might have about our community band. All well, the work you've been doing. Thank you so much, and we invite you to come play as uh, <laughs> uh, our has, <laughs> and uh, or, or participate, even if you just kind of stand in the background, check us out for a couple uh, tunes and move on. Uh, we appreciate and really enjoy having the support of the community as well. And uh, I'll share this uh, with someone. This is a list of our concerts that uh, just for the council's information. Would be the best person to get this to. There no man with the best. Yeah. Here, I'll just give you a, a, a couple of them here. Thank you. All right, thank you. <clears throat> okay, continuing on in public forum, is anyone else to address the council? Seeing none, we will close public forum of municipal business A, resolution number 84, 2023 2024, resolution approving collective final subdivision plat, Oak Park Estates, first edition, city of Nevada, Sword County, Iowa. Vote approved. Second. And the discussion council, please vote. And it approves. Takes us to B. Approved pay request number 35 for Woods Heart Creek Facility Improvements, phase two from Williams Brothers Construction in the amount of $45,293.93. Approved. Second. Sandy. No discussion. Council, please go. At 
is approved. Takes us to C, approved pay request number 24 for waste rock treatment facility or improvements, phase three from Boomerang Corporation, the amount of $2,850. Approved. And yes, and Melissa. No discussion, council please vote. That is approved. Exists in D, 2024 Street Improvements Project Contractor Construct A, approved pay request number one, the amount of $154,489.38. Move to approve. Second, Steve and Hendrick. Seeing no discussion, council, please go. That is approved. Takes this to be approved change order number one in the amount of $47,479. Move to approve. Yep. Seeing no discussion, council, please vote. That is approved. It's just to see if we change over number two in the amount of $14,434. Move to approve. Sorry, Steve, Jason. Seeing no discussion, council, please go. It is approved. It's just to be discussion appropriate call regarding CBD project. Additional invoices received for work to repair gutters and alleyway for the storm drain issues. It's approved. I'll second. Yeah. yeah, Melissa, Steve, discussion. <laughs> so what's the update here? I believe this is just finishing up some of the issues that we have when we were fixing. This is just the last of it? Yeah, I, I don't know before. if it's the last, but it's not uh, the last. Still going, huh? What do you foresee that's upcoming still? Well, hold on. Candy, I might have you go over there just so people can pick up. <laughs> We just know that sidewalks, yeah, that haven't been put back. Am I the last question on this? Yeah. How come we are treated differently than all of my neighbors on this? I don't know. I'll let staff answer what the difference may be, but or how others have it handled. How so? Well, none of the other, I'm the, None of the other buildings there got broken out for the gutters and downstocks, right? Just me. The others were in the consent agenda for checks. I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Yeah, yeah, they, you didn't break them out. Uh, I mean, we're starting to take this little personally. From, from the beginning, I didn't ask to be on the agenda. So we get a motion, second, discussion, vote on it. And the vote was to hook up my line. Contract's supposed to be there in 10 days. We flood twice more and then Ben floods. Ben asked me to put on the agenda. Doesn't get put on the agenda. At that point, executive action, you start the project. It was an administrator's report. You guys didn't vote on it. Took action. So I flooded three times. The only could have been executive action, fix it. Uh, not only did the others not have to come before council, ask for it, plead the case. Tom Richards wasn't hooked up to begin with. He got, and, and his was the biggest line item of the project. His was half of the project. Tom got half of the project given to him without asking for it, without even showing up to a meeting. I'm an executive action. I beg for it. 
When then it flooded, I took a camera over, scoped it, found the same problem I had in mind. Then sent it bill through. It did get pulled for separate consideration, but you guys paid. Me. I sent my bill through, and I got bounced. Right, Karen? He called me and said it was taken off, wasn't going to hit. I, I didn't even get put on for you guys to discuss. I had to get kind of upset and demand to be put on the next agenda. Do you remember the, the discussion? And you said Jordan told you to pull it. I don't know why. You paid my neighbor for the identical bill. Bounced mine. Didn't get put on. Didn't discuss it. Every time I've got a bill that goes through, I'm the only one. And again, half of the cost of what you guys feel you probably shouldn't have paid anyway. It was a contract consideration. Half the cost of this project went to a building order that wasn't hooked up to begin with. Didn't ask for it, never came to a meeting. I'm the only one. Why? I can't answer that, Andy. I don't. I, I think the first time that I'm aware of those. Everything I'm saying is true. If, if any, Jordan, do you agree with me on any of it? So. If I remember right, the reason I had it bounced was because you were told in one of our council meetings when Brian was here that you were supposed to bring everything to the council. The council would discuss and make appropriate action on everything. Steve said he wanted it itemized. Nobody ever told me to have it total. I'm not your bank. You told me you wanted it itemized. Every bill I've given has been itemized, and I float bills through. I, I would just want to be paid. And you look at my bills. I mean, If there's any idea that I might have unfairly benefited, I challenge anybody, flood their building for two years to make it unusable. I, I don't buy think a back, go buy a skid loader, pay employees, work in the mud in the dark, dig it out, put it back together with no assurance that there's going to be, because I couldn't get assurance up front. They might do it, say, get it itemized, send the bill, and then I complete my case again. Uh, the bills I sent through, because I don't hate Nevada, I paid attention. I charged you less than I charged from the hardware store. I charged half on the equipment of what it would cost me to rent from Star Equipment. I'm, I'm willing to justify my itemized bills that I sent for this. I'm cheap. And you've got my repair, and you've got all my damages, and I'm still less than the hookup you gave Tom with no request. And I'm here with this item bounced separately, taken off the consent agenda, so I can justify it. And the fun part of this is, this is contractors you guys hired. You guys specified Jamie. You picked him to do this job. This isn't even me. This, this isn't my bill. It's not my expense. This was Ryan contacted a gutter guy. He managed to get to all three last year. The reason there's a wonderful part of it is because he didn't get to me in time. Because the last heavy, heavy rain without the gutter system there, it sheeted down the side of my building, flooded my electrical, burned it up, almost lost my building, Not Sherry's hair studio on a service for a day. There's no reimbursement for me for messing around with it. There's no reimbursement for Sherry getting out of business. It's just, mine was the last one to get done. It caused me more damage. And I'm the only one to get bounced for separate considerations instead of just an expended gym. Well, we trust Andy. Sign it off. It's not even my contractor. You hired the guy. Which bill are you are you referring to that got bounced? The, the one that we just approved? Yeah, we approved it yet. Or but we pulled it. Next. All the rest just went through consent agendas. I mean, nobody remembers them because I got put in the check. This is the first time I've actually seen that bill, Andy. The show no, the, the one that I'm talking about that you took out was me cameraing my line. Yes. I I do remember that one. Right. No, this one, I'm, but why is mine a separate consideration item? Because last year, you just paid Jamie to do the other three gutter sets. That was because of what was discussed in the council meeting, and the council wanted to see the, the itemized list that Steve requested. This isn't my bill. You hired Jamie. I, I think, well, Andy, I think, Andy, you're, you have been kind of the... Uh, the, the source of information, at least to the council, on a lot of this problem. So I I appreciate you coming and explaining 
to, uh, to us what's going on. And, you know, it, I don't think there's anybody here that is trying to put you through the ringer for this. I apologize if, if that has been portrayed that way to you. Um, you know, we are here to listen and try and make things right as much as we can. So, you know, let's, it's okay, we'll figure it out. And what, what I'll say too is I understand, I would be totally frustrated too going through what you've gone through with your building. It's, and I didn't know about that recent electrical issue with, it, with the gutters. So, I mean, a lot of this, I think, is new information to us. Um, we certainly don't want to treat you any differently. I think part of the issue probably is what Jordan said is it was a council decision because we didn't know how to deal with it. And then you got consensus from council that they wanted to take care of it. And and I think we can have a follow-up conversation to make sure that it's streamlined going forward, especially knowing if there's consensus of council and looking at our attorney too to make sure we follow things correctly. But um, yeah, I, I don't think anyone on council wants to treat your situation any differently, any differently from everybody else. So as a taxpayer, the frustration here is, is every bill I've sent through is set for consideration and I justify it. What have we decided about where the fault lies on this? I mean, this this isn't my fault. You haven't had a rep from contract here, right? They haven't come up and justified the bill. They they gave you a quote, you guys paid it. And Brandon, right? Not three of the bus. I had a conversation with you. I spent a day with one of your sons mapping out. All of the utilities in my building. I asked you about it. You guys haven't included the roof drains, right? Okay. You kind of let me swing out here on all this. That was never volunteered from HR Green. That was omitted in the, the scope. It was it was part of contracts supposed to find them, but it was never part of the information given out to the contractors. So I I kind of blame HR Green a little bit on this. Next thing is I said, I know the reason. Contract didn't hit it because my drain comes out deeper than their drain. I and and then voice. He said he told them twice they'll come back up. I think part of it's on contract. And Jordan, at the beginning of this, you started the conversation by saying it was your understanding that it was the building owner's responsibility to get hooked back up. And then on our first meeting with Matt Runke, he said the reason they had trouble during the second half of the year was because they had no supervision, that Sean Cole was. Was perfect through the first half and then we supervision. You were the building official on it. I mean, I, you guys have asked where the answers are. I'm, I'm telling you, on track when it was my problem, I didn't need a new line. You guys got a bid for 65000 because they had contract new. They had to stitch a new line up from beginning to end. I'd have been happy with a spot look up, except they knew I'm too deep. They knew they couldn't look it up. They knew it. HR Green knew they didn't include it. In the details given to them. And on track is justified in that. And and Jordan, I, there was no supervision on it. But this, this isn't my fault. I'm the victim of it. And I get to justify every penny that I go back. So if there's more to the bill, I'm pretty happy sending it. I haven't sent any personal property damage. I haven't done anything. And again, my bill's cheap. This is mind blowing. Not my fault. Nobody will take responsibility. I, I think you understand Andy, what, how it works and what's going on. And yeah, I understand. I appreciate what you're going through too, okay? Um, let's just continue to work together and see if we can put this thing to bed here. So we when, have I, when, I asked you, yep. when I asked you if it's all done, I just was looking for information. I wasn't trying to put you on the spot or anything. So, I mean, let's... And one thing I was going to ask from council is, would you like any further things to be put on the consent from Andy's issues, and then you can pull them if you have more questions. That was going to be one question I was going to ask to you. Sure. Yeah. I, think, I think we should do whatever is consistent. With yeah, that. I agree. Okay. And Andy, I would say too, feel free to call me or any of the council too, if, if there's the things that come up. Because I, I think that I think that's about over. It's over because I have done a lot of free work for you. Yeah. And then I come to the council meetings and justify it. Well, I, I wasn't aware of the frustration. And if I were, then I could have talked to staff and figured it out. So I mean I'm happy to to talk with you on anything. You know that. I'm done.
Okay, so we have a motion and a second on this item, I believe. Yeah. So that takes us to further discussion. Seeing none, council, please go. And is approved. Takes us to new business A approved five day special class C retail alcohol license, Cloud Wine LLC. DBA Lucky White Wine Slushies, 6th Street for downtown Farmers Market. Um, a is approved five day license for 531 to 64. Move to approve. Second. Case in the Senate. Any other discussion? Council, please vote. That is approved. It takes us to B, approved five day license for 614 to 618 2024. Motion. Second. Most then, Steve. Seeing no discussion, Council, please vote. Seeing none. That is approved. It takes us to B, approved amendment to master agreement with HR Grain Incorporated for Municipal Engineering Services. For 19th Street Trail construction based services not to exceed $18,500. Yeah. Any other Second. Steve Henry. Seeing no discussion, Council, please vote. Approved. Chase and CC approved T Mobile Geotab for fleet management. This is something we've been discussing for several months. A couple of years ago, we started working on this, and this is the probably the third or fourth company we have done research on. This seems to be around the same cost as everything up at, uh, else, but it also provides a little bit more. Uh, one thing that we wanted to focus on was the maintenance side for our vehicles. We have a maintenance plan currently, but this allows us to actually track it through the app or the program that is provided when you get these geotabs. We plan on doing this for six months and seeing how we like it. If we like it, we, we would like to extend it to other fleet vehicles, but if we don't, we will end up just getting rid of it. Each each uh, geotab is around twenty dollars a month, and we're going to be putting it on six vehicles to start out with. How do the departments feel about this? Do they see this as something that benefits them, or are they nervous about Big Brother watching them? Um, I don't think they're necessarily nervous of Big Brother watching them. They're just they know they're not doing anything wrong. Um, I think that they're willing to test it out and see how it, how it goes. And, and if they see if there's something I can help them, please. Yeah, well, I mean, mainly the whole, the big reason why we're doing this is because the maintenance side of things. We want to make sure that we continue to take care of our vehicles and getting the, the longevity out of them that we, we'd like to get. And also fix some of the issues that we see happening with my uh, explorers are one one of the things that we continue to have issues on, um, but yeah, that, that's really the main reason on it. I think there was maybe one or two comments about the Big Brother thing, but um, I reassure them that's not the reason why we're tracking it. Each department had will have access to their geotab information, and really they're going to be paying attention to it for the main so. Is there any other risk to the city by adding these on the city vehicles? Does it open us up for any liability? Not that I can think of. Okay. I mean, I think you'd be immune from any kind of thing. Okay. Um, I think one thing with, with rollout, obviously, anytime you've got uh, city resources that your staff is using, you just remind them that there's no expectation of privacy, um, but they should know that. But I just reiterate that, yep. that rollout. 
So the 1386 is for a full year. And we said we may. So it, it is a month. It is a month to month. It goes so month to month. So you can set it off at any time. At any time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. And these are these are something that our staff can just plug in. It's the same type of device that an insurance company would utilize. So it's in your OBD. Yeah. I'll second that. Jason, Sandy, any, any further discussion? Okay. Seeing no further discussion, please vote. Okay. As per takes us to report starting with city administrator. All right, we had a wonderful business breakfast with NABC. There was a really good turnout this this last year. All three years that I've been a part of them, part of them, they have been good turnouts. But I feel like this one had a little bit larger than previous years. Public Arts Committee continues to meet, and they're definitely making some um, progress on what they want want to do. Uh, one of the things that they're tasked with is creating a map of available buildings that would potentially allow murals on. Uh, some of the other things that they've been tasked with are uh, crosswalk paint, uh, painting or vinyls to put down. Continue to have IMU meetings, which is uh, Iowa Association for Municipal Utilities. Several wastewater meetings. We had tour, tours this last week. Uh, with IJAC, they visited the field house, new wastewater facility, and um, what was the third part? Field house, wastewater, and streets. And so they had a lot of questions. I think they had a really good time. Learned quite a bit of what what they have been doing, uh, what our city does, or our staff. And uh, so I think it was a good turnout. Air permits, we've been going back and forth with the DNR pertaining to the air permits. We finally have everything kind of under wrapped and uh, up to date on there. We had to change one of our uh, requests because we kind of put everything under one permit and we needed to separate both of them into two different permits. So we have that taken care of. Foundation meeting. Uh, if you weren't around this weekend, we did have Pizza by Luzo. We had more people this year than. Well, yeah, uh, more people here this year than we did in the previous years. Uh, so I, I think it was a successful weekend for the foundation and the Pizza Pie Loser Committee. And then Sandy and I met earlier today to discuss council planning. And we were wondering if July 8th, which is a council meeting day, 4 to 6 p.m. would work to meet for the, the two hours. Uh, before council, and we would kind of just go over everything. We planned on doing a fast recap over the 2040, also bring in NEDC, Main Street, uh, the school as well, and talk about some things that they have done and really provide an overview of the 2040 plan. And what our ginger holds. Yeah. Do you think that's that time? I didn't. Okay. Being the professional. Snap, snap. <laughs> that is all I have unless you have questions about anything. How many, how much more um, people did we get in town over, over last year? Pizza Paluza? Um, you know, for the tickets themselves, we had uh, around 300 to 350 more than Latin the previous year. Okay. And then I know um, Jason can probably speak on this a little bit better, but the food trucks did better this year than they had the previous two years as well. I was going to say in total, probably a thousand, because downtown was a lot busier all day. Yeah, it was doing better pretty much for what we probably do a five You don't know understand it, roughly that is for the 300 increase year over year. Probably not supposed to say, you know. Are, are you talking about like people coming to the yeah. concert? We'll, we'll be able to oh, that we had 300 more people at the concert. Just 
Right, is that what you're Yeah, like the number, the percentage number from last year to this year. Oh. Like increase. Oh. Like what percent is that? Uh, like, so, like how many numbers yeah, people since the CGB did a grant we can give you the info but like oh. publicly we can't really stick it in both okay. it was good though it's mm -hmm. hard to estimate I mean the radio folks were asking us how many people were downtown total all day and three something three plus thousand probably you know? <laughs> like kind of a guess but if you think about who was at the concert plus it's, I think that's probably low is there a lot of people that came and didn't go to the concert at spring break? Oh. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Okay, so moving on from my report, I was going to bring up Pizza Palooza. It's pretty neat to sit there and think it was about four years ago. We asked why not Nevada and to see what we've built and the whole community come together from our business community to the volunteers, service clubs, um, all across the community and just everybody that came out it was really rewarding for me to just look around just the joy on the kids faces all day and the adults at the concert just having a blast so it's become a really really nice thing showcases our community really well and our main street really well and a lot of new people so i mean the heat map of tickets is pretty neat of where they're all coming from because they're coming from all over the place and otherwise um then this week, I'll be going over to Cedar Rapids to the, the Economic Development Conference. Um, Deputy Durham's moderating a panel with myself and the mayors of Des Moines and Cedar Rapids to talk about community economic development. So, be kind of fun. To, to big big yeah. Yeah. yeah, big city. So, yeah. Otherwise, any questions for me? Okay, council reports. Uh, I'll report. Uh... Our esports team today managed to take third place at the state title. Awesome. Not a, not a three feet, unfortunately, but we'll take third. That's good. And again, how would Ace plan going well? Yeah. <laughs> so they're gonna, now that DPL is done, that um, and how would Ace start sending out sponsorship stuff, and you'll see them ramp up. They always wait for pizza to lose it out before they start getting out there. I would just comment. I'm sure Aaron's going to talk about the planning that the library's been doing, but we had a great session on Saturday, and I'm happy to have been involved with that for like the last year and a half. Yeah, I'm working on a great strategic plan that we have today. Water pollution control. Uh, just our routine maintenance operations, monitoring and plan. So we did have some higher money results this month, and uh, we did a bunch of testing. We did well. As long as the last sample comes in, we will be within our operating limits. Uh, we had a number two research digester pump burn up that we had to pull out and replace. That's pretty much it. Anything else? You put the band aids on. Yeah, we need to get the bench back. Maybe someday they do us a new treatment plant for them, huh? Good evening, Council. Um, as Sandy mentioned, we had what I believe is probably going to be our last strategic plan committee meeting on Saturday morning. And it was great. And then I spent the afternoon at Peace Pilosa for the first time. and. That was awesome. So it was a lot of fun and got to see tons of people there. Um, and then let's see, April was National Library Month and we did a, or National Library Week was in April. And we I had reported about all the things we were doing. And it really um, was interesting when I did our stats at the end of the month because uh, our average amount of people most months is like 3,800. And that gets a big boost during the summers. Um, and our April door count uh, for people in the library was 4830. So we really had an awesome month with lots of people at the library for different things. Um, and I'll keep that week of library week. I forget exactly what the total was, but it was huge. So um, it was kind of nice to kind of see how impactful it was. Uh, and now we are gearing up for summer. We have officially um, met our fundraising goal of five thousand dollars through sponsorships with local businesses, and so we've got um, all of our prizes kind of 
rolling in for kids. Um, our summer reading program will run from June. It's June second, the first Sunday of the farmers market. We are going to have a kickoff in Patton Park, which is next to the library, and um, it will run through the end of July, so eight weeks, and then we'll have a finale event um, with a phone party outside of the library in August for kids. And so, kids and teens can sign up, win lots of cool prizes just for attending library programs, checking out books, and reading during the summer. Any questions on anything? Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Marlis. Karen. You have not absorbed them. I have anything else to add. I don't have anything else you have questions. I don't have anything else left to do questions. Thank you for me. So that would conclude your reports, which takes us to closed session pursuant to authority found in Iowa Code Section 21.51C to discuss strategy with counsel on matters that are presently in litigation or litigation is imminent, where its disclosure would likely be would be likely to prejudice or disadvantage the traditional governmental body on litigation. You want to go to full question? Second. Listen, Sandy. Counsel, please vote. We'll ask folks to slide out and we will get to the closed session.